and when the meeting was over we both looked at each other and it was like a religious revelation of just like this is what we need to do this is the path that we have to be on we ended our trial period with four machines and immediately signed up 17 more Thank you all for tuning in again. We always appreciate you. Today, I get to talk about machine monitoring with my buddy, Eric, specifically Datanomics. And if I'm being honest, when I first got into machine monitoring and learning about it, I didn't know the differences. I didn't really understand what it did other than monitoring on and monitoring off, right? But there's so much more to it. And if we're being fair, Eric, you have practiced machine monitoring for seven, six, seven, eight years at this point, but you've recently gotten into datanomics. And there's so many different areas for why you jumped into datanomics. Would we mind talking about what, when Greg showed up at your door at <laughs> five in the morning to talk about machine monitoring with you, what was it that he said that you decided, I have to do this right now? Previously, when we were doing machine monitoring, uh, it was a lot of labor intense stuff and we were going back and forth with project managers and having to double enter data and the operators were having to do a lot of things um, and we basically just quit doing it and it became like a is it on is it off is it running or not uh, we knew that we needed to be better at it but it was just hard to find the bandwidth to be able to have everyone in the shop focus on that so greg came by and showed us the software and he had like a demo page of showing the machine history and uh, he clicked on what's called the after action report and the after action report laid out the benchmark cycle time it laid out the typical cycle time it showed how long the part was on the machine for and how long it occupied that so if you wanted to capture the cost of that associated with it um, it really just had a lot of information I know that there's other monitoring softwares that give you a lot of information, but you have to go through and dissect all of it. What Greg showed us was that Datanomics, click two buttons and you're there. And it puts all that information in your hands to be able to make decisions about parts. And that's how you knew you had to get into it. And that's it. how, as it was, uh, it was, literally was five in the morning. Like I said, Greg came in, I had a meeting with him and uh, one of my other coworkers, Devin, and when the meeting was over, we both looked at each other and it was like a religious revelation of just like, this is what we need to do. This is the path that we have to be on. And uh, we ended our trial period with four machines and immediately signed up 17 more. Because when we think about machine monitoring, there are people out there that go, how do I put money on something that's not making chips, right? How do, I, how do I place a value on something like that? So I asked you off camera, in the six months that you've been utilizing this, which when this comes out will be right around this time, it will be from years to come, and we're gonna come back and follow up on this as well Perfect. to see what two or three years looks like. But I asked you something off camera was, have you already in the limited amount of time found profitability in something that you might've been missing out on earlier? And you told me a story about you've actually gone back to older jobs and started looking at those. Would you mind sharing a little bit about that story? Yeah, we had uh, one part number that was kind of cumbersome. And uh, originally it was going across three machine centers. Now we found a way to be able to optimize that and put it on one machine center. But it was like, uh, depending on who was running it or how it was being ran, and what time was being put in our ERP system, we were all over the place on what that part actually cost to produce. Um, and knowing that this was a high volume part for one of our main customers, uh, we needed to get it right, not only for them, but for us to be able to be profitable at it. Uh, otherwise we won't be around and they won't have someone to build their parts. So after we ran a thousand of them, I was able to go into Datanomics and it said, typically this is how long it takes you and this is how much it costs. And we were able to align that with our material and tooling and then make sure that we had an accurate price point for that. And we were able to go back to the customer and uh, justify where we needed to be on the pricing. And it worked out mutually beneficial for both of us that they appreciated uh, that we were able to provide that information and that we were sure that we knew that we could typically produce that part at a known cost. I think that's a great answer. And I have one last question for you before I let you go back to your busy, busy schedule. And I do appreciate you allowing us to have this conversation and allowing me to come in and have it with you. And it's, 
how has it been accepted by all of your colleagues and coworkers on the floor? Do you know, there's a monitor right above our heads right now, and it's almost like having a big brother going, oh, I, I need to get an A plus today. I need to get a B, I need to do well. But ultimately it's the success of the company and it's all about the productivity of the machines, even though the grades are fun to play and everything, but how accepted do you think this has been for all of your colleagues here at the factory? Uh, the acceptability of it has been great. And there was a little bit of uh, apprehension at first, like you said, like the big brother, someone's watching out for me. And the way we presented it is just, you know, I'm not trying to press down on you and say you're doing a bad job. And if you're doing a good job, it's going to show that you're doing a good job. But the acceptability has been great. Uh, after we went through the conversations of being honest with the employees, of what the utilization was and what the tool was that we were trying to implement. Uh, now we have guys looking at the TVs. We have them looking at it while they're programming. Um, they're able to see if a machine stopped. They're able to look at their utilization percentage. They're looking at how many parts per hour. Um, been multiple times in, especially the Swiss area, guys will come to me in the morning and say, hey, I'm gonna hit for this amount of parts, you know, 30 parts an hour, 50 parts an hour. Um, there wasn't necessarily that realization before. They just were, oh, I'm gonna push the button, I'm gonna get what I get. And, but now it, it's right there, it's live streaming on there and you can see and uh, they're excited about it. They wanna do better. They want it to be a tool to show how good they are, not how bad they are. Yeah, I like the way you put that, how good you are, not how bad, because it can be deemed that way, but I'm happy to hear the acceptance. I wanted to bring that up because that is a big brother thing that comes up from time to time in conversation, right? So thank you for doing that. Now, I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna see, I've never done this before, but I know you have two amazing kids at home and as you're becoming more famous and MTD is continually famous, would you like to give your kids a shout out on camera? I wanna say hi to Oliver and Wyatt, my wife, Brittany too. Uh, this is what I do at work some days. So it's fun. I enjoy coming to work. I like working here. Um, it's a great place and uh, yeah, I hope my kids work here too one day. Uh, very cool. So this is Paramount Machine, started in 1995 in the backyard of Steve's house, growing to over 70 employees right now. Machines everywhere I look and the, maybe the most important stat talking about datanomics today is the implementation of a trial run on four machines that immediately turned to 17 more, a total of 21 after the, the three month trial. So thank you all for watching. Eric, my friend, I thank appreciate you it. for conveying the message. That was really well done. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you coming out. It's great to be able to talk to you and uh, showcase what we can do and uh, put some information out there for datanomics. It'll be good for them and be good for anyone that decides to pick it up too.